It's it's hard to. It's not that easy to play this lane. Yeah, you'll also spam the whip, which will damage the bear and the lone druid at the same time, the entire time. Yeah. Which is a plus. The problem is, of course, the lone druid has like the bear is stupidly tanky, and Techies has the longest attack range in the game, so he'll be able to at least harass from a distance uh, onto the main lone druid the entire time. We, we, yeah. I also hear the stupid techies. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy I don't Weird have the meeple voice, voice line. lines equipped. <laughs> Me burned. Because the problem is when I sometimes I might have it still on random rotation for my voice lines, which is a little bit. Uh, I, I should probably remove that because sometimes I get the meeple voice line and then he just randomly throws out meeple voice lines and I say them out of nowhere on broadcast randomly. Yeah. I just follow them I'm like meeple and I'm like, oh no. No, he's not even <laughs> in this game. <laughs> Sometimes you forget that you're not alone. You're not alive. I'm not just in my room. Just chilling, yeah. watching Dota. The, the man's at work begins. here. All right, no chaos. First runes, but Samson doing work with the bear already. Hello, Got a good yoink there to for two bounty and trades. Oh, Bat Rider saw the camp lane being blocked. Doesn't have a sentry yet, but he's queuing one already. Ubu going for the right click fight against Blink. You gotta be careful, the center does so much damage, especially if he gets a couple of points in double edge. And yeah, passively 7.8 HP regen on Centaur. It is insane. It kind of feels like Ogre used to, where he just got, kept hitting you the entire time. I think that Ogre was... I don't know which one I find more annoying. I think probably the Ogre, because he had a nasty slope. Void can definitely die on his lane. Yeah, when Moo hit three, he can get like two points on double edge or two points on hoop stomp and surprise Yamson. And of course, if uh, Yamson does a time walk a little bit too close, Blink gets himself Firefly, he just runs him down. Yup. Mid lane, mobile, this is more a hero to. Uh, dominate a lane with and that is definitely one of the things that he is capable of last game had a very unconventional game on that bat rider made a lot of mistakes it was mss of course that caught him every single time but i haven't seen mobile struggle that much in a while yeah he had to do a lot that game as well but he was just a bat rider he was not with his timber his viper Let's see speed topside. How's it going against the lone druid? Samson's getting decent enough farm. As is the Kunkka. Speed is doing great. At least these first few waves. Penance. Penance. I'm just waiting for the level 3. In That's response, when the they don't action really have starts. A way to kill their opponents. Who yeah. also counter warded the the bigger camp, so he doesn't actually have any creeps that he can take over. Uh, he has a ward in his own jungle, so he can see what's there. He's taking some damage. Blink is making sure no creeps spawn. The other camp was also blocked by Blink, so yeah, that's unfortunate. He throws out the counter ward. Yeah, Dubu is being owned. He might as well just remove his own sentry ward at this point. The Block problem the is, big camp. He, he cannot leave the lane to do that. They are always pressure in the face of this void. Oh, 
Down soon. Double edge. He actually is gonna die, and it's only a level one double edge as well because he leveled retaliate instead. Repent. Yeah, so the the Chan doesn't just right click him all the time. I mean, he still will. Cause yeah, he has to. Yeah, he, he gets a decent amount of damage in response. It's the only thing that can really bully him out of the lane because Yamsun's not gonna bash 50 Repent. times in a row. Mid lane, Mobi is destroying RCY, by the way. As expected, right? This matchup is very bad for the storm. For the last big storm, while you knew the enemy had a Lena, granted, we were also thinking could still be a safe lane, Lena, but. They can always just easily swap it towards mid, which happened, and now your your lane is nigh impossible. And he had to buy a healing salve that got burned. Nothing to be. And gained. nobody's dying on the side lanes. He wants to, to refill his bottle. Refill. He kind of needs a support so that he can guard one of the runes. Luckily enough, this gives him a chance to get the top bounty rune. Oh, fortify the range creep in mid as well. Just for good measure by Mobi to make sure Arsenal doesn't get gold. Yeah, he, he cannot just go back to the lane normally, I think. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is really... I mean, obviously there's other stuff happening, but I'm just... MSS dies in the top lane. I'm just... One, enjoying the sight of Mobi zoning out his opponent in its entirety. Who got the kill top? Was it Lone Druid? Uh, it was the Lone Druid. That's very good. Yeah, his farm is still pretty uh, obnoxious to deal with. He's also getting levels on the Lone Druid. So then uh, once levels come into play on Lone Druid, it becomes really tough to recover. Currently, they even have Husky smoked up towards mid. So he is getting full free experience underneath the tower on Samson. If you have an advantage, you want to max it. You want to bring one more. Just to really stomp the lane. Okay, getting jumped. And bottom is still pretty tanky. Will grab himself a bounty while dragging all the creeps with him. Chen ha finally does have Radiant's a creep though. And it's the Ogre Frost mate. So nice armor buff. Be able to at least keep his allies alive. Man, dude, mid. Boo. He lost another Radiant's ward at the tower. same it's spot for the same sentry. Well, you play placed another happy. one. Easy money. Husky is even lurking out towards bottom. He's gonna go for the experience rune still. Sammy Boy is building into the Diffusal Blade. Doesn't need boots when you go Diffusal Blade anyway. They have no real ways of disengaging from a fight as much as they'd like. Who well, actually has three points in Italian? That's a lot of old armor. school centaur build. Denied. Radiance middle tower is under attack. One hit. Radiance courier has been nice. killed. I mean, couriers. Yeah, but as he's playing like this, going full passive is okay. Since you don't have your support with you, we just cut waves. Regeneration. The, the storm, storm is heading coming. his direction, and this might be a dead move. Needs to make sure at least the creeps die before he does. One zip in. Stun comes out. He's almost Ooh. level six. He's it's under attack. Trying to get it, yeah, but will die beforehand, <laughs> and unfortunately won't be able to get the stampede going. In the meantime, the tier one tower mid is gone. I'll take that trade any day. Yeah, Radiant I'm not sure if that was worth fallen. it, but for the storm, you know, he would not be getting anything on the map. So getting the skill on the center is okay. Radiant's he would lose his tower, tower anyways. Dyer's top tower is under attack. From the, the new teams in all the regions, which team are you most excited about? Falcons. Really? The Falcons? Okay. Yes. I like seeing Crit on a new stack. I can see that. I definitely can see that. I, I think 
You know, in general, I, players that have been stuck w with the same roster yeah. or lineup for a very long time, I love to see them spread their wings a little bit. Yeah, I think the way I saw it is that I think he lost his his light playing an A for that long. <laughs> Talking like NA is cursed. <laughs> yeah, something like this. Uh, I I can understand the it, it was, you know, they always tried for the prizes, but it felt like all the other teams tried a bit more. If you're the best in the re like if you play in Western EU, there's always a tough battle ahead. If you play like for them, it was they were the best. I mean, in the end, a little bit less, but they have been the best in NA for years. And now Falcons is even trying to become the best in. Uh... Okay, that RCY Mena? just. Yeah, in the Mana region, which is a funny region Radiant's if you see, like the teams that are playing Mana. You've got like some insanely good teams, and then the rest. Yeah. It will take time for the region to develop. They might need to bring more players, more teams. I actually thought that Turkey would probably be part of the MENA region. I'm surprised it wasn't. I looked at the list of the MENA countries and... I mean, some of them make... Uh, most of them make sense. I mean, surprised Turkey I guess it's a bit more nice. to Ling. Swap comes out. He's trying to get himself back. He will not be able to disengage. Hand of God. RCY. He still has a zip forward with Electric Vortex in a second. This might be a third kill coming in. And a huge team fight for it, man. will be able to get themselves a nice advantage. In the meantime, damson has got that Diffusal Blade. And Moose just farming the bottom lane. Getting himself bulky as can be. A five-man rotation towards mid will at least the pair of That was a very nice read pro, from Storm and Spirit going for the rune, then deciding to jump the Lina, and then suddenly they have a fight. They, they kill three heroes, they kill the tower, and he dies. And he gets hit by Laguna Blade, and then all of that. Nice work. Falls down. <laughs> Link taking some stacks in the meantime. Needs to level attack. six. Lasso is uh, quite a crucial tool to have. Husky did get his level six just now. So you'll have uh, the swap play coming in. Samson in the meantime clears Radiant's the tier one tower top. Bottom tier one is the last one standing of the Radiant side. And the map does get shrinked quite significantly. And now it's time for the laundry to join the game, I think. Has no business of staying top. Gold. Gold's his business. That too. But I'm pretty sure he can find gold on the mid lane, Radiant's on the bottom lane, on the on the rated jungle. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh husky. Also had a bunch of creeps. The rune is top. A shield rune. Lucky. It's not a bad rune. <laughs> Mills is almost done on the face of the He's gonna farm. Samson did TP to take the gateway bottom to take out care of the tier one tower. Takes the gateway top because he sees creeps underneath this tower. And he doesn't want to fight with Mu for farm. Because Mu is, you know, he's still second in net worth. It's Mu. Gotta he went back gold. top on the laundry. Has to be careful. There's a lot of heroes on the area. But he has backup. He's baiting. And he's got true form, which is broken. Radiant are scanning. Once you pop true form, you kind of never die. They also have swap available in case a Krona would come through, even though Jansen is showing in bottom. Yeah, they are timid. They are afraid on the Radiant side of making this place. And rightfully so. I think it's going to be hard to kill off these heroes. I mean, Lone Druid and Centaur are... Especially Centaur, he's 1800 gold uh, HP already and he is just bulking up soon, the Eternal Shroud. And they're kind of lacking damage on Young Zigotlu. Like, Faces Void, 
does pretty okay, but his real damage doesn't actually come in until he gets his level 20 talent. That's normally when he just jumps from, does pretty good damage to, oh my god, anyone in Chrono dies. How they're going for a smoke play. They have a lot of heals. Let's see what they can find. There's the Stampede. Samson. Help, whoever gets the jump. Edge, he does get the true form off in time. The bear to heal him up. MSS dropping bombs all over the place. The disarm is pretty annoying to deal with, but MSS is dead. Center Stampede, they're gonna look to try and get a catch on more of the Radiant side. RCY got to be careful because Lasso oh, yeah. could catch him off guard. We'll be able to zip further back. Still has another zip at the ready. Swap. Oh my Stun god. Stun attempt. Well, in comes the blink from Mobi. Not expecting that one. RCY does get the heal, does get the zip, and even further down the line gets the double damage to get himself out of there. Dubu might now be the one left behind. They're just even going to ignore him. RCY pops the double damage. Going for Husky. Lasso drag back, but RCY still got the kill beforehand. And there's the electric vortex on towards Blink. He's trying to take him down before he falters himself. And with a small zip, Dodge comes out. He gets a double kill before he dies. And Dubu can even walk away. Speed is in the area. They also lost... Okay. Where? Samson just Why? died top to Yamson. And they killed each other, but the techies came through with, like, it seems, a lot of damage topside. That's a, a random death happening top. That I could not even pay attention to because there was so much happening in mid. I think that was a chrono, but man, I think they, they were lacking focus on Bami Soy. They were chasing this storm spirit. Batch Rider always getting close, but never close enough to use the lasso. The vent swap play was, was cool, but they didn't stick to the plan. Only the supports were chasing the storm spirit. Dyer's top tower. Yeah, it was a very target. lengthy chase. Eventually died, but he still got two kills beforehand. Zip in from RCY. He's going for the Mage Slayer, by the way, as I saw, which magic resistance is pretty nice to have against, of course, the, the Lina. But Lone Druid's all physical. It's not going to keep you alive against him. He's going to keep you alive. Dubu is trying to get exactly that done. Will be blown up. Chen gone. His creeps being munched down for extra cash Dyer, poor dubu man every time he loses his scripts rcy stunned up problem is they're a little bit too slow are, are they oh the lasso swap play comes out but the torn go ship and again the two supports die together move I, I see why he made a weird zip, but move won't be able to find a target. Mobi is invised up, spots out RCY, Laguna Blade. Does he have the damage to take him down? The stop no, is no, just no. out of range, and in comes the drag back. The mine explodes. Emesis is doing so much damage with these proximity mines in these fights. Speed's getting his mana drained in the process. There is a Dubu creep running forward. The Centaur Conqueror has rejoined the fray. Chrono is not up for 25 seconds, but there. Keeping them distracted while Yamson is in the meantime farming up a storm. I'm pretty sure Lina could wait a little bit more before using the stun. They thought he probably had enough damage, but Mage Slayer was a, a bit of a surprise there in his damage nullification. RCY. He's got to be careful. His mana is almost empty. Yeah, if he gets swapped and roared, he dies. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Well, net worth wise, they're pretty close to even Stevens at the moment. Pinko's going for the Ags, which is great for the lone uh, against the lone druid and his bear. Speaking of his bear, it's going for the Manta style. Gonna have triple bear gaming coming through. Blink in trouble, trying to disengage, but MSS got so many mines. Lasso, a bit of a nuisance to Duna Blade, but so many heals. RCY doesn't even care. Zips in further, going for Mobi. In comes the Lone Druid Bear. RCY might have made a bit of a mistake here. Can this team keep him alive? The Chrono oh from God. behind is a huge three man catch. 
Atari, two men with the bear included and Husky a second one down. Somehow RCY survives this. How oh, is he not dying? I, I don't know. He's playing insanely greedily and he's surviving somehow. He's playing like he has nothing to oh, lose. Oh no, RCY, oh, I, I, <laughs> yeah. Your name shall be forgotten. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's playing with nothing to lose. You just walk around with no HP. That was weird. That was. At least they got a kill on the laundry on the previous fight. Radiant are scanning. That's definitely a big plus. Samson's farm started off uh, very insane. Right now, he is close to the bottom of the cores. It's not where he wants to be. They're gonna head into the pit though. If they can take down Roche. They know there's no Chrono, and that's the pretty much deciding factor if they go Roche or not. It does get scanned, but it's a long run for them. There's no tier one tower top. They could take the gateway, which is always very risky. So they're just gonna yeah. not even contest the first Roshan. Not that it's that important. They don't have the most amazing Roche lineup like uh ages lineup if the lone druid dies he comes back without true form and he can die quickly a second time the plus side is his bear doesn't die if he dies so at least that one will stay alive just because they can they lost a lot of map doing that mid waves pushed chen's working on their triangle on the bot lane as well here i am storm is getting runes Not the end of the world for Young. Oh no, Young is uh, actually playing a really attack. solid game. Mobile definitely is lacking the damage against the Storm. I think, uh, I mean, that Mage Slayer pickup was a, a godsend for him because he just kept surviving three fights in a row thanks to the magic resistance. Touché. Uh, it seems like they are gonna. Go for a trade here. Tier two for a tier two. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Lone Druid can kill the tormentor, which is a plus. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiance. I always tower think that when attack. you have a lineup in Dota, you should have Radiant a tormentor killer at least. Fortified. The game is so much Dyer's worse if you have a lineup attack. where you have to send four heroes to kill the tormentor instead of like a Slardar or. Uh, Meepo. I mean, Dyer's obviously, you should always have a Meepo in your team, but you can't always get what you want in your pubs. If you have these Tormentor killing, killing heroes, oh, never mind. Fight, up start. MSS is gonna get taken down, swapped in Trub. Dubu's TP out, and they'll find the two supports and quickly make easy work. The Mobi gets a double kill, closing in towards his Aghanim Scepter. That will be a big buff in his uh, damage output that he is going to need to kind of nuke down the face of Void. And then that, that makes it harder to catch the lean as well. Especially with the blink dagger, unobstructed pathing. And even if you catch him for the storm, he does get, what, 35% magic resistance on top. So you're going to need the face of Void to actually kill off the Samson's got the Manta cell done. Next item's gonna be Radiant the Disperser. Fast attack. as all hell bear. Ooh, RCY. Let the fun begin. As the guy Sanj, and he's going for Lincoln's next. He's gonna just make himself as tanky as he can be. It's mainly because of the lasso, right? Yeah, well, Lasso, the swap, the stun, Lacuna Blade has been thrown on him multiple times. They have a couple of pretty annoying spells. And later down the line, you'll probably get yourselves Alina with the Scythe of Ice anyway. They've got another smoke, so they're gonna make a play. Maybe on this stoppy area. Make full usage of these Aegis. 
Take care of uh, more towers. Tormentor was cleared on the Radiant side. Who actually got it? It is on to Dubu, so he can get himself some ancient creeps. Building up uh, an army of uh, auras for his team. But that's going to amp their damage and survivability in these fights. Over here now. Dyer are scanning. Who also oh, has the shield now done? The laundry show stops, so Void feels safe of playing bottom. Well, the mine did just make a sound, yes, what? but they he still did not manage to realize it in time. Or does he? No. He's going to die. Center Stampede with a couple of creeps hitting him will be enough to seal the deal. Faces Void dead for 50 seconds. Will they be able to get Dyer's anything out of it except killed. for just a random kill? Doesn't look to be that case. And that Venge tip on the laundry tells me that laundry made that call. I'm gonna money. show top, fight's gonna farm bottom, you'll kill him there. Well, that's some uh, good communication. Oh. Definitely gonna be needed. If that was the case, if that was the case, we'll obviously. never know. I mean, you could always ask it, and then Sammy is 100% gonna say, Oh, my call. Guaranteed. <laughs> From the yeah, they're getting these skills on the map, but what are they really accomplishing? Because there is not a high net worth advantage. It's a random kill that slightly slows down the faces for it, but you take no objectives, you gain no map control. They, they actually lost more map control after that fight. And... Yeah, now they're uh, playing pretty defensively. They are kind of closing in right now, the Storm Spirit. And the gang walking up. They scan the high ground, knowing that there is someone in the near vicinity at the very least. And they're going to walk around if they can get a nice catch. Mu is blocking the area. Has a gem in his hand. Oh, the jungle center <laughs> stomped them. Mind play, jump forward by Mu. Go for the counter ward play. Samson's bear, oh, charging forward with the Fusible Blade. There's the Stampede. Dubu in a bit of trouble. Blink lost most of his HP on the side. Ghost Ship comes flying out. They actually are fighting in two different areas at the same time. Lasso comes out. They hold down RCY. The storm is dead. Chase from Yamson. He still has the Chrono. Will kill off the Bat Rider. They found a couple of kills, but Mobile was on the other end, and they will lose the faces for it again. Losing it twice in a row, that is unfortunate and not the best that you can have. That was the Batch Rider destroying the fight, finding the angle, jumping the Storm Spirit. Then you have the Pistolist Void, hopeless. He could use the Chrono, but there is no damage on the Chrono, only him. He's not that strong yet. Two more levels, and he gets his level 20 talents, the 95 attack speed during Chronosphere, and then the hero is... Then all of a sudden, he can solo most enemies. It, it's insane how much of a buff that is. Dyer's top tower is under attack. How much does Moonshard give? Moonshard gives... Okay, so 1. you're... 1.4, yeah. Yeah, 1.4. That's if you keep it in your inventory. If you have it equipped, it's 60. I guess it, it's about what 3k net worth in experience in just attack speed 2.5k I'm very bad at math yeah Radiant so am I I'm like yeah. trying to think have okay to it's two hyper sort of I'll know it's a hyperstone and a half but yeah it's about 3k net worth that you get inside the chronosphere that's pretty good. We can net worth on top. Storm building up the PKB. More sustain. Seems it is required because he does keep getting killed. Lost a lot of mana there. The Roche only long response today, huh? RCY. Oh no! That, oh no! That should have been a catch. Luckily enough, he does manage to get away in time. 
I think there was a tree there blocking the vision, something like this. Yeah, it did, did look like he cut down the tree a little bit later. Uh, that was next to him. Sometimes you just get a little bit lucky. But they already got lucky last game, so... Can Gaben, the RNGesus of our time, give him more than enough luck? God, I miss watching competitive Hearthstone. You ever watch competitive Hearthstone? Never. It, it's... It was so f I used to watch it in like the beginning of the... Of it existing. And it was always just like really good players, obviously insanely good tactics in their decks and stuff. But sometimes it just came down to a top deck uh, or just a random RNG spell. And you're like, bro, <laughs> how, how do you lose a tournament just because of random RNG? I mean, to be fair, Not Dota has, cool. has some decent RNG as well. Like Roche respawn timers can be crucial. But it's not to the same degree where it can make or break your game if you get bad luck. That's why Dora is still there. Yeah, and uh, we're now even getting ourselves big tournaments outside of TI. That's how amazing it is. We got Riyadh Masters being built up with this whole ma gigantic ESL Dream League tour. I think ESL Dyer's Birmingham is later in the year. I think it's in April. So you got Bad Boom Dacha, which is, I think, a land event in Qatar. Then you got He's Dream League. Then you got ESL Birmingham. Radiant and other Buster. events that we don't know of yet, or at least I don't know of yet. Yeah, Cell should just buy Dota, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> My <flip> rewarded. <laughs> yes, TI, Riyadh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, have they announced where the next TI is? Um, not yet, but I think it's gonna be Seattle again. Of what I heard. Uh, I mean, it is where their offices are, so it does make the most sense. It has problems with visas, though, which yeah always happens. If you ask me, I would say Bra Brazil, but that hey, would not be maybe true. we get a. There might actually. Will there be another CSGO, like ESL Rio? That one was pretty I cool. I don't know. Wild. Yeah, it was. I really love watching the, the crowd go wild and not caring about... Like, the players heard everything. <laughs> Last year, Sam in Rio, I was there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was so cool. I should go to the next years of Cologne if they ever have another one. I mean, I'm like, I live like an hour and a half away from Cologne, so... It definitely should. Oh my god. Uh -huh. They're so close! so close and nothing happening it's nail biting the entire time I think he's all might actually have offices oh. it makes sense why probably there for tournaments has fallen. it was also a dream league Rotterdam I didn't go there I, I've never been to an event and a shameful of me Yeah. And go to the next one. And Gamescom. I've been to like seven Dyer's Gamescoms, I think. Which is amazing, but I don't think they have any big tournaments anymore. But it's still really cool. There's like half a million people going and it's the biggest gaming convention in Europe. And it's also in Cologne. Cologne is an amazing city. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, the Netherlands has really crappy cities. We don't even have a single city with a million people living in it. Really? Yeah, I think Amsterdam is like 900k or something. Nice 
Well, Samson is just cleaning up some nice random creepsy spots. Random creeps, right? Yeah, they just boo. they're just standing there out in the open like, <laughs> "Kill me, puppy! Kill me!" He's not getting to play his hero. But Chen, he can use penitence if he wants to. And their hand of God while AFKing in base. I mean, you're playing an Aura carrier. There's nothing more you can really do. <laughs> Unless you have like... Have on the jungle. If you had a Lycan that shapeshift bit you, you could have fun. You seen those clips? You become melee. Yeah, but... Of Chen? Yeah, of Chen being bitten Radiant's by Lycan so that all of Chen's attack. creeps also get the Lycan shapeshift buff. So you get like oh. massive ancients just charging forward and cleaning everyone. It's really cool. Radiant's that would be fun. No one's ever gonna do that in a professional match, but I've seen some clips in pubs and stuff. Never say never, my friend. I mean, I would love I'm to see... I'm pretty sure Puppy would do it next CI. Puppy would definitely do it. He would be the Lycan. Yeah, and then it would be what? Uh, offlane... Actually, offlane... I think it was that game that was offlane gen and he got like a Lycan support. And he only farmed Ags. Okay, Lone Druid is in front of your base. You have to do something now. Demolish is insane. It's actually not the bear that insane. Is your door. He doesn't actually have that many items on the Lone Druid. He also doesn't have AC or... He's got two items. In a 35 minute game. It feels so... Obviously, Disperse is very expensive in man's style as well, but this feels so... Meh. Yeah, it feels... Odd to see, but he's tanky. I mean, he is tanky, and he's fast. He's gonna die. Oh, never mind. Jesus. But it is resummoned, so if they manage to kill off that bear right now, that would be pretty big. They don't know that it's resummoned, though. That tells me that they're not trying to go high ground again, they need two bears. Oh, th that's great. Uh, instead of the Fengeful Spirit getting the shard, luckily it went to the Lone Druid's bear. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that, that's just like BS tilting at this point. <laughs> Everyone has a shard in his team. Even the freaking bear has fetch. I don't even know what it does. It just drags oh. someone or a bit. A room. Link Center Stampede used BKB as well. Okay, that, those are some pretty big cooldowns. They, you lost nothing. Age is going to expire in a minute. Obviously, you don't want to throw everything on him, so it's a little bit dicey. But currently, I think we've been watching a solid like six, seven minutes and no one's died. They've had like three smoke gank attempts and just stared at each other. But Husky might die. Yeah, Husky's left alone. We'll finally get something going. Looking for more. We'll have more. Samson here. 30 seconds for that Aegis to expire. Moon comes in. Let's get some in onto speed. He does have the water park to throw out if he wants to. Yamson could fly and bash. Mobile as well. Luna Blade, Dubu is dead. The two supports are gone. They did buy back previously. Chrono comes in onto Mobile. And the Lina is a nuked down, taken out of the equation, and they continue for more. Samson with his bear is oh, trying to right click, but the torrent is huge, it kills off the bear, and the problem is, as we mentioned previously, there is no resummon for 10 seconds, so Samson has to run back. They really won that fight. Nice chrono on the Lina, that's what he <laughs> should do every time. Because if, she, if Lina is outside of the Chrono, she can always use the Ethereal Blade and stuff, the Scythe of Ice. So just Chrono the Lina. Londroid was not able to kill anyone, I think. He was just poking on the fights, being kited. Yeah, Londroid's uh, not really had the impact just yet. He needs more, definitely. How much more time can you get, though? I, I, Moo is top net worth. God. Moo is so impressive. <laughs> it's 
chilling on top net with as a centaur. Who cares about the it's rest not... of the cores? He's not getting the basher. He's getting, I think, a butterfly for the bear. Huh. Yeah, butterfly. I guess attack speed is pretty nice. And then afterwards, he wants to get a couple of wraith bands for the lone druid because it gives you double the stats after 25 minutes and he has a lot of armor. Yeah, a lot of armor. But they need to somehow kill this faceless void on uh, on the fights. Storm's and if he's side. killing Arlena, I don't know how they're gonna do it. Killing the faces void is tough considering the Chen healing and auras that they have. Plus the techies also has the solo crest coming in. He's building up the E-blade, so they're building up into more saves just to keep the faces void alive. And eventually Storm Spirit's also gonna start doing damage. He doesn't really have much, but once he hits that level 25, maybe adds in an Ags in his repertoire with a shard. You know, Storm Spirit all of a sudden bounces all over the place with all of his hits and it gets pretty painful this here is gonna scale this game the longer it goes oh blink spotted out storm. jump in the bat rider will just bkb run away it's it's three hits and instantly they're terrified is there really that much burst damage to take out a 3k faces void I'm not so mm. sure. Maybe the Lena can do a decent amount because he does have Scythe, so yeah, they have okay control. But he has a Lincolns as well on the Void. With the Lena, they definitely can. Yeah, but when there are like his two supports right behind him. Yeah, they need to be very quick. Well, next Roshan is up in a minute, and it's the third Roshan, so it will, because it's going to be a Radiant Respawn, be a Refresher Shard, and the stupid flag. The flag only works for lane creeps, right? Not for, like, chain creeps? I think lane creeps. Nah. I'm not sure, though. That's disappointing. Mu is so bulky. He also has a Havoc Hammer with his strength. On top of it, 217 strength. It's a lot of AoE damage. And he also builds up into more with the double edge spam. The centaur can actually do a surprising amount of damage. He does. Oh, Vi's on the storm now. And the smoke bot on the bench. It's all about his next Roshan. Who has the buyback? Let me see. Not a lot of heroes. Oh, to be fair, no one's actually died. Dyer's so. middle tower is under <laughs> attack. A couple of random mines exploding all over the place. Roche has respawned. There we go. Roche, uh, did you? Lane creeps, yeah. This is gonna be a bloodbath, I think. Why does Dubu actually not have any like creeps split pushing the map? He can get himself some night like an ancient black dragon and just send him top the entire time. Force them back. Yeah, he's having a rough time finding creeps on the map. Yeah, to be fair, everyone's like, clearing them the entire time. They're like, I want this creep. No, no, no. It's gold. And actually, Roche is dropping. Considering the last Roche was killed by Bami Soy, they don't hear the. Rrr, 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 rrr from Roshan, so they'll be able to just uh, kill it off quickly. Refresh the shard, double chrono. That can win you the game. And the check out the high ground. Rosh is dead. Speed spots out Mu, hits him with the torrent. They're taking their sweet time getting all the items equipped. Zip forward, trying to go for the Bat Rider. They want to deal with the lasso first. He's staying alive quite decently. Husky with the swap play comes out. In the meantime, Lone Druid's Bear is looking for targets. We'll find Yamsun. He has the Aegis. He has the Refresher. He has all the tools he requires. Lasso comes out on the side. RCY is in trouble. So Spirit dropping low, but there is going to be the Chrono coming out with the torrent on top. And they will lose two Dire Heroes. The Lone Druid Bear is going to be the next target. Dropping low. 
And it does get taken down. Samson resummons the bear. Now if the Lone Druid dies, he will not have a bear, even if he buys back. And that is problematic. Doesn't even get close to a buyback. They lost... How much did they lose on the Radiant side? If I'm not mistaken, nothing. I think no one died. And the bear is not doing work on the fights. He's being kited. There's the tidal wave here and there. The torrent. The Fistless Void is just claiming everyone. Under attack. The bear is just like spinning circles in the fight. Not knowing what to target. Just starts right clicking the Faces Void. But there is no damage from that bear. Faces Void doesn't yeah. care. He's got 27 armor. The bear has no basher, as you mentioned previously. So you're not even afraid of that aspect of the bear. It just does nothing. He just ignores the bear and the lone druid himself. He always chronos the Lina as well. It feels like every time Lina is chronoed, there is no damage. Going in on the face of Void. Still has the ages for three and a half minutes, so... He's not even taking damage. Has a chrono at the ready, by the way. He used that refresher. Drag back coming in. Stun onto Blink. Trying to stay alive with two supports. That is a quick double kill coming in. Who has to disengage. Is walking around with 5k HP. So he is still very tanky. But what more can you actually do? And try to hold them off. Lone Druid, no bear for 25 seconds. In a sense, Lone Druid is still dead. Mobi is going to get jumped. There's going to be the Chrono, as you mentioned. You spot the Lina. You kill the Lina. And they do exactly that. Triple buyback on the Dire side. They're continuing to fight. Now there's no Chrono left available anymore. They will throw a lot onto Yamsa. But he's still... Where's the damage? Backtrack, Backtrack. is doing so much here in the fight. Samson is dead again. Couldn't even get the Barry summoned. Just walked in the fight with three Wraith fans. and was like, I'm going to man fight these fools. Nothing you can do unless Mu tries to go big here, finds a double kill. It's the center that's doing the heavy lifting, trying to keep it in the game. He doesn't have a buyback though, and that's the big problem. There's a husky move forward, can't throw out the stun, try and keep his center alive for a little bit longer than Glimmer Cape, but he is in range of that sentry ward. Now gets out of range, Dubu doesn't have a sentry, and Mu stays alive. The game is not completely over just yet. Granted, it is scary. Face for he still has the ages. But he's Moo's on alive. It. Nope, Moo's still alive. Radiant and he's Spirit. doing a lot of damage onto Yamsen. Vengeful Spirit is dropping low. Center Stampede. The Venge is found out. RCY has no mana left. And Moo's just kind of like weirdly chilling. <laughs> Looking Buying for time, kind of. They don't have to kill him. They can't get Megas. They can't finish the game. They're staying alive. Batride is almost up, so is Lone Druid, and RCY is almost out of mana as well. So they get two sets of racks, and the game is not over. Oh, that, that, that's painful to watch. It feels like they are they don't have a carry. Oh, they have one. All it's one has to do. But yeah, but he's not dealing damage. He's being annoying, of course. But who is killing the heroes? Is there any item that a centaur could Dyer's get to make sure he does damage? Mm, I don't know, he can upgrade his blink dagger to deal more damage. Equip Moonshard? And that's all I think. <laughs> Moonshard? Yeah, yeah, equip it. Maybe, you know, get some attack speed. He does do like, almost 300 auto attack damage per hit. Look oh, at him. they find Janssen. This would be a pretty big pick. The last who comes out, Yamsun. He had 16 seconds on his ages, by the way. So he is going to come back alive and has a chrono. And there is Mobi nearby. Stun Look comes out. Lone Druid Bear is dead again. 60 seconds. No uh, respawn available. They will look for MSS. And Laguna Blade him down. So all in all, not the worst. They got MSS and the ages kill. And they lost... Nothing. So, yeah. actually, it's pretty good. It's actually really good. Decent amount of gold. Yeah, Samson. Right-click Lone Druid. Let's go. <laughs> Farm faster. He's getting the nullifier. Not sure 
what changes with these items, to be honest. It does get rid of the, the nastiness that is the Solar Crest, the Ghost Scepter, uh, the Glimmer Cape. I don't know if... Does the pipe buff get removed from Nullifier? I actually don't know. Uh, I think so. Oh, it does remove a couple of decent buffs at the very least. Storm Spirit's going for his own Shiva's Guard. He really doesn't want to do any damage on the storm. It's like every, I, I'm going to try everything I can to not deal damage this game with my item. Lina is the one that actually kills me every single time. Let's get myself a Shiva's. With his next item with the Shiva, he's going to do a lot of a, a damage with the overload. Really? Considering yeah. you already have the Shiva's on Kunka. Yeah, because of the bounce. This bounce is so strong. Yeah, but then I'd rather see you get Ags. So that you, like, group them all together and then just go brr. That would be a good plan as well. I don't think the armor is really required if the Lone Druid pair doesn't do anything. The Centaur is also just a ton of magic damage thrown in your face. It's only magic damage that they have at this stage. Lina is also magic damage. Lina, speaking of which, Mobi My God. is playing with the devil right there. Center Stampede back. And they actually get out. RCY is dropping a little bit in terms of mana. Chrono comes out, only catches Not like this. Not the greatest target to catch, especially with the E-Blade available. That's what was really unnecessary. And the Refresher comes out from Yamsun. The face of Void has the second Proto available. There's the Lina. And the bear is going to be the target. No! Samson! Not Beery Boo. Not again. It's dead and... Oh, it's actually going to be able to stay alive. Moo saves the bear's life, but might have to sacrifice his own. As I say that, it's a... Centaur with 7k HP. Blink, lasso, onto Yamsum, but where is the damage without the bear? They, they found fight Lina. Lina, and that's the damage without the bear gone. The focus is going to be the Chen, but the bear is... He's just on the run. Who is 1v5ing this entire fight for the last minute? He does find the kill onto MSS, looking for more, going for RCY. The Lone Druid resummons his bear. Yamsun still has a Chrono, by the way. Gets the catch, goes for the Batrider. And turns his attention towards the low wheel. He is still fairly tanky in his ultra bear form. Ghost Ship is going to be able to fly through. The fear was pretty nice to force them back. Samson can get the control in onto speed. Goes for the TP out of there. Gets swapped back into position. Speed might just get taken down in the process, which seems to be very likely. These fights are weird. Oh, he's deep, man. Let's slow down. Nullifier connects and Husky will be able to stun him. Take him down. And this game is literally all Moo. There's nothing else I can say about this game then. It's all Moo. He did 13.7k damage in that fight. Thing is, they don't really want to kill the centaur. They can't they kill, the, kill centaur. the centaur. <laughs> they have by like something like Scotty on the faceless void because he has passively... He regains 1.5, 150 HP per, per second. They, they just Only can't with kill him. Scotty, you can kill him, but it's not worth it. You should get like Moon Short and try to kill everyone else. Yeah, but he's the one that's like in your face and hits you with overwhelming blink slow, uh, Shiva slow, uh, even the Havoc Hammer slow. Just keeping you occupied. It, it. Ooh, so, he's playing so well. But, he could, uh, yeah. He can try to get, like, Aghanims on the Centaur and give a ride to the Lina. So Lina can try to play it, to play these fights. Could be a that nice could one. That could be a good plan. I mean, at this point, he doesn't really have much choice. He is, like, there's nothing more to build. He could upgrade his bots to level 2. They're actually going into the pit for a refresher shard. Does get spotted out by the Wild Wing Ripper. Yeah, you need to deny this from the Faceless Boy. Does Samson have anything new on the bear? Uh, yeah, well, the Nullifier. 
Gotta get that basher soon. RCY got, get, does get stunned. A two-man catch by move. The follow-up is a little bit on the slower side. Husky trying to stay alive. RCY got the gem. Will be able to get a kill. Buyback comes in. Mobi Look behind the Roche bit needs to be careful. Ghost ship's flying through. Mobi is trying to dodge away from Jansen the entire time. While I see Mu somewhere else just hammering away at targets as much as possible. Blink will be taken down. And the Chrono does get huge swap save onto Mobi. Is it going to be enough? No, they lose the Lina. And this is looking like it might just be a bit more problematic. At least Mu will find a kill looking for more. On to speed, buyback comes out from MSS. Lone Druid Bear, is it going to be enough to kill off speed? The Kunka gets glimmered, he is going to be able to stay alive for now. The backline jump onto the Lone Druid isn't in his true form. And the tactical nuke from Techies is enough. And now it's Moo literally against the entire the Radiant lineup. One man army gets chrono <laughs> because they <laughs> really need to kill the Centaur. And he is still not dead after the chrono. But finally will drop in the dirt. We'll have a buyback available. But they're not going to contest for this, Roshan. In their base, maybe they have the best chance to take a fight. That was a long one. Look at... Just check the, the fight recap. Only the centaur did <laughs> damage on that fight. Oh. Everyone was just... I don't know, running around, trying to escape this is boy. This is How can they play like this? How is Mu literally the only one... Do like, they're not even reaching a thousand Radiant's damage in the fight. Are under attack. Oh, they're just... Trying to avoid Faceless Void. And Lena always dying without the oh buyback is hurting them so much. Well, Samson finally has his build done. He's got five, uh, six Wraith Bands. So, he he's in a good spot. He does have his level 25. So, a thousand true form and spared bear health. I guess he's tankier now. Radiant are scanning. But his bear still does nothing. Nothing. It has a problem killing off a techies. My thrift and a chen. And Dubu is fans. really far. Look, he's got auras upon auras. He even has the guarding greaves now done. They have invis on so many uh, uh, radiant heroes as well that's keeping them all alive. I am really enjoying this game though. <laughs> it is fantastic yeah. to see Moo go ham. And they don't have a jam on the dire. Oh, the lone druid bear does get spotted, has a resummon. Moo gets a two man stomp, turning his attention towards speed. He's late. Yamsen wants to possibly get a chrono. There's going to be the lasso onto Dubu. The Chen plus five is going to be the target instead. Blink dropping low. Dubu, will he die? And the god still healing up. He's got the hot on him. And Dubu is not dead yet. Finally does drop. But they will lose their two supports. It seems Husky goes in for the swap. And actually saves move from the Chrono. I don't really think it would have mattered because he's definitely not going to be the target. Where's now. the Lina? It's be Mu and Mobi. The last two standing. Mobai is in the vicinity, gets hexed up by RCY the moment he shows his face. And Mu, what can you do? Your team's already dead, and again, he is the last one standing. GG called. Give me a quick fight recap. I actually kind of want to see, did he again? Yep, 9 10k down in that fight center. Again, Lina, almost zero damage. It was time to realize that he was unplayable for Mobai this game. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it